a shocking discovery from our Call 6 investigators. It stems from this video, an Indiana police chief accidentally shooting himself. The cause, something you would never expect. And the situation could put you in danger. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez now with our exclusive report. Rafael? Erica, good evening. Gun owners already take great pride in safety, but what you wear may lead to trouble with your trigger. Pulling into Wolf's gun shop, David Counselor was looking for a deal. This deal totally caught me off guard. His entire shopping experience caught on surveillance cameras. Behind the counter, owner Jim Wolf had plenty to sell. I've been in business 34 years, and this is the first time that has happened, or I've seen it happen. At 10:20:39, David looked at a 380 automatic. At 10:21:15, he pulled out his Glock 23 to compare it with the gun that caught his eye. After he put his Glock back in his holster, watch as he tugs on his jacket. Within seconds, his gun accidentally goes off. In slow motion, you can see the brief flash as the bullet strikes his body. 911, what's your emergency? I uh, need an ambulance up here. A guy's been shot in the leg. A guy's been shot in the leg? Yeah. This picture shows the gunshot injury to David's leg. He was treated and released from the hospital and returned to work. Yes. He just happens to be in his seventh year as the Connersville police chief. I was embarrassed and humiliated. The accidental shooting involved a Glock 23. The chief carries the department issued firearm while off duty. On the clock, he depends on a Glock 22. Despite a slight difference in size, both have the same safety feature. Here it is. This piece of metal must be pressed down to fire the weapons. If I'm going on the side of the trigger over here, mm -hmm. it's not going, to, not going to go off. Your whole finger has to be in here to push that, this little lever, so to speak, down on the trigger to go. On the day of the shooting, his hands were not on the trigger, but his fleece jacket's drawstring found its way into his holster. When pulling up on that jacket, this thing comes up, basically, and, and uh, it hits that safety and and fired. Based on the store security video, an internal police report concluded that his jacket's drawstring caused the weapon to fire. The Glock Company website claims 65% of the country's law enforcement uses one of their guns. That includes the FBI. Agents carry Glock 23s. Around the country, other police departments out west, Arizona, California, in the Midwest, Missouri, and out east in Maryland, they're armed with Glock 22s. It's what Metro Police and the Circle City have on their hip, as do deputies with the Marion County Sheriff's Office in Indianapolis and the Marion County Sheriff's Office in Salem, Oregon. You know, been around uh, guns all my life. I'm a military veteran. Deputy Steve Cooper accidentally shot himself in 2005 with his Glock 22. While getting out of his cruiser, his gun fired, injuring his lower right leg. For a day or two there, they're even thinking at amputation. An Oregon State Police investigation cleared him, but pointed to his windbreaker's drawstring for getting caught in his trigger guard. When it initially happened, I was I was certain there was there was four people in the car, and I was certain someone else had done it. Um, and when they told me no, you know, it was your own gun, I, it was pretty embarrassing. I feel like if I can. Uh, prevent it from happening to somebody else, and uh, I can get some good out of what's been a, a bad situation for me. You know, I've got uh, permanent damage to my leg and, uh, and my ego, and uh, might as well uh, you know, try to make some good out of it. A jacket drawstring also made for a bad day for a deputy in Louisiana. Gunzone.com shared these pictures from 2005 with the Call 6 investigators. These show the aftermath of an accidental shooting involving a Glock 23. Watch what you're doing when you're handling the firearm because the clothing could play a factor in it. At Wolf's Gun Store, they've kept the remains of the runaway bullet and they'll need a remnant to cover the hole in their carpet while their customer, the chief, recovers from his injury. This is coming from my heart here. I don't want to see nobody go through what I did because I don't, I don't want to see anybody get hurt or killed. So to that end, the Chief Counselor's biggest concern is the what if. What if that gun store was packed in January and someone was injured? He wants to prevent that in the future. The Chief has been in the spotlight, though, before. In 1999, he accidentally shot himself in the hand while assembling a different gun 
he thought was unloaded. So what is the fix to the Glock and the drawstring? Very easy fix. For example, this is the RTV6 jacket, and my jacket has one of the toggle drawstrings. Right. So right. if you have a jacket or a fleece or a sweater with the drawstring, take a pair of scissors, cut it, you've now reduced the risk. So if this is a problem that's going to be over your gun, just take it away. You've just reduced the problem. Very easy. And what does the gun manufacturer say about this issue? We did reach out to Glock and Glock uh, to the company. We did so in writing and by telephone weeks before the airing of the story. We have yet to hear from the company. We have posted all of our emails with Glock so that you can read them for yourselves and all the information that we requested from the company. I'll be online tomorrow morning to answer all viewer questions on Facebook. So join me on that conversation uh, tomorrow morning here on the IndyChannel.com. All right. Very good. Possibly life-saving information, Rafi.